In today's video, I'm going to tell you about what you need to know about CARMS, including important application deadlines, and I'll tell you how to apply to residency in Canada using the system. I'm going to give you some insider tips to help you prepare a stellar application, and I'll go over what medical students can do throughout their medical education to prepare for your CARMS application. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans with BMO Academic Consulting. Before we begin, subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you with your residency application, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. After you've graduated from medical school and have earned an MD, you then have to complete residency training for between two to six years before you can practice medicine in Canada. CARM stands for the Canadian Resident Matching Service, which is an online portal that applicants use to apply for a residency training program. It allows applicants to choose the residencies they'd like to apply to, and allows program directors to choose applicants who best fit their programs. Be sure you visit the CARMS website. I've included a link below, as there is important information there regarding eligibility, deadlines for document submission, policies, and procedures. I'll discuss a rough application timeline, but this can change from year to year, so be sure you refer to their website for the most up-to-date information. Beginning with August, you should start working on your CV, personal statement, and you should finalize your referees. In September, you'll gain access to the CARMS portal online. You can finalize your CV, which is due at the end of the month, and make sure that your referees have the information they need to send in their letters. In October, your medical school performance report and transcripts are due. November is when the online application, personal statements, and reference letters are due. From December to January, the applications you completed are sent to the programs you applied to, and you can expect to start hearing back from schools for interviews. Between January and February, you'll be attending interviews, and late February is the deadline for ranking programs in your preferred order. March is the most exciting because it's when match day happens. April is the second match day, and May is part one of the Medical Council of Canada qualifying examination. June, you'll be graduating, and finally July is when all residency programs begin. Now that you know the application timelines, let's go back in time and talk about what you can do during your medical education to help prepare you for the CARMS application. Your pre-clerkship years, which are the first two years of medicine, where you'll most likely be spending your time in the classroom, are important because it's when you'll begin learning about which specialties you may want to apply to in CARMS. During these years, you should begin by contacting some of the professors or doctors teaching your lectures to ask if you can shadow them. This is your best opportunity to not only gain experience in that specialty, but it also allows you to ask lots of questions, make notes about the experience, and see if the specialty complements your strengths, preferences, and personality. An important resource that you should connect with is senior medical students and residents that you've seen working in the hospitals that you're shadowing in. Have a conversation with them. Find out about career prospects, job flexibility, work-life balance, and any other questions that you may have. They've already been through the process and were in your shoes too, so they have invaluable advice, thoughts, and recommendations to share. During your last two years of medical school, you'll have the chance to complete your clerkship electives. This is a great chance to gain experience in whatever field of medicine you're interested in. Program directors who are looking through your application on CARMS will be interested to see which electives you choose, which should demonstrate your interest and experience in the particular specialty that you're applying to. Make sure you choose your electives wisely and don't choose electives that are not related to the specialty you're interested in pursuing. Your electives can also give you the opportunity for strong reference letters. Try to schedule your electives prior to the CARMS deadline for having reference letters in. This way, if you've had a great experience and relationship with your preceptor, they can write you a strong letter. Keep in mind that electives are very competitive, so you should schedule them up to six months in advance. Now let's talk about the five components of the CARMS application. You will have to include a CV, your transcripts, a medical student performance report known as MSPR, reference letters, and personal statements. Your CV should list your educational and academic background, honors and awards, employment history, professional memberships, volunteer activities, extracurricular activities, and any research and publications you have completed. Be sure to also include your elective experiences. If you're a Canadian student, your medical school will automatically send your transcript to CARMS. The MSPR is prepared and signed by the dean of your medical school and is automatically sent by your school to CARMS. 
It includes every score you received on elective or core rotations in addition to comments from your rotation preceptor. For the reference letter section, you should include roughly three, but be sure to check the program specifications because sometimes this can vary. Use only physicians or professors as referees as they are the only suitable referees. Lastly, you will need to include a personal statement. The requirement for this statement also varies a lot between schools, so make sure that you know what they are looking for and adhere to any word or character limits. The next stage of the process is the most fun part, the interview stage. What's neat about these interviews is not only will the program directors be assessing you for suitability for their specialty, you will also be assessing and interviewing them. Make sure you have questions prepared at the end of the interview and after the interview is complete, write down your notes which will help you later on to rank the program if you're attending many different interviews. Finally, you'll be deciding which program and specialties you're most interested in and will create a rank order list from the programs you interviewed at. If there is a program that you have no intention of completing your residency training at, not even as a backup, then don't rank it. Only rank programs that you would be happy to attend and complete your residency at. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of the CARMS process. This concludes another one of our videos, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it helpful, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you'd like us to help you with your residency application, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.